Breaking news, Nigerians. Wala Don Shalom. The Chief Executive Officer, CEO of Think Computer Corporation, Mr. Aaron Greenspan, has initiated a federal civil lawsuit against the United States government over refusal to release the criminal file of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerians, the Chief Executive Officer, CEO of Think Computer Corporation, Mr. Aaron Greenspan, has initiated a federal civil lawsuit against the United States government over refusal to release the criminal file of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Defendants in the suit include the United States Department of State, the United States Attorney General, the Executive Office for United States Attorneys, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, the Department of the Treasury, the Internal Revenue Service, IROS, the Drug Enforcement Administration, DEA, the suit filed at the District of Columbia District Court with case number 1223CV01816 BAH as District Judge Barry A. Howell has the presiding judge. The summons to all seven def defendants have been issued. Trouble started when Mr. Greenspan and his firm, Think Computer Corporation, under Freedom of Information Act, FOIA, Course Session 05, USA 552, in an FOIA request dated July 16, 2022, applied to the FBI for information on one Lee Andrew Edwards, reference in Northern District, uh, District of Illinois drug case involving Tinubu and Mazi Adegbangia Akindi, but was refused. The Greenspan specifically requested for records from the Northern District of Illinois and Northern District of Indiana involving charging decisions for the following individuals. Number one, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the president of Nigeria, as of the 2nd of 2023. Number two, Mazi Akinde, deceased as of 11th, 16th of 2022. Both of these individuals were discussed in the I. ROS affidavit in Northern Districts of Illinois case number 193CV04483 as having at least committed a crime of money laundering, but we are not charged in Northern D District of Indiana case number 292CRO00113. RL, there is no privacy interest at issue as Tinubu is president of Nigeria as of February 2023 and Akinde is diseased. Dates range for record search from 1st of January 1991 to 12th uh, December 31st, 1993. In his request for expedite reason, Greenspan noted that Mr. Kinde was a money laundering associate of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who in February 2023 won the Nigerian presidential election. The election of Mr. Tinubu is a source of considerable public dispute. He requested was, however, turned down. Going further, Grispan made a similar application to the FO 
IL and Privacy Act at United uh, Unit of the U.S. Department of Justice Drug Enforcement Administration, requested in case number 22-00892-F and F the following. Any record from the, A, the DEA's Hammond, Indiana, or Western D.C. offices concerning the Nigerian Heroin Distribution Organization active from approximately 1988 to 1994, or later involving any of the following third parties, Tinubu Bola, Ahmed, and Edward Lee Andrew. This organization is described in a civil forfeiture complainant and IRS CV affidavit in ILND case number 193 CV 0004483 dates range for record search from 1st of uh, January 1988 to 1st of January 1994. Again, he was turned down despite expressing willingness to pay additional fees and enter the maximum amount he, he was willing to pay. The refusal was followed by more applications to other relevant authorities which met similar urgency. Greenspan appealed all rejections up to the Executive Office for United States Attorneys. In the appeals Max re FOIA request 1553430 Lee Andrews Edwards, okay, an address to whom it may consign, he indicated. It is clearly in the public interest to disclose records related to Bola Metunubu and his relative K.O. Tunubu. Mr. Tinubu is a current presidential candidate in Nigeria for the February 2023 Nigerian presidential election. There is a strong public interest in Nigeria and among the over 350,000 Nigerian Americans residing in the United States who would like to know more information about Tinubu. Tinubu's involvement with criminal law enforcement in the United States before he was presidential candidate, given that Mr. Tinubu could be elected president of Nigeria. His personal privacy interests are not nearly as strong as the public interest is knowing more about his criminal past. He appears hits a brick wall, regardless. So on March 23rd, 2023, Aaron Greenspan commenced a similar application on Tinubu Marzi Kinde. And the application similarly similarly went to the office of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Drug Enforcement Administration, the Department of the Treasury, the Department of Justice, the Internal Revenue Service. He noted that Tenubu went ahead and became the Nigerian president, subject to litigation at the Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC. Akinde is widely reported to have died in strange circumstances or, or around November 16, 2022 in Nigeria. Greenspan's application nevertheless met responses synonymous to those of Lee Andrew uh, Edward. He appealed the decisions to the United States Department of State and the United States Attorney General in the appeal fight in, on June 6, 2023. The Greenspan wrote, Bola Tinubu is now the president of Nigeria. As of late May 2023, this FOIA requested was denied by FBI office on the grounds that you have not sufficiently demonstrated that the public's interest in disclosure relating to the operations and activities of the government at weight the personal privacy interests of the president of Nigeria. Well, I can't go on or again and again, but we just have to understand that US, UK, and few other European countries, they are the real reason why Nigeria is not moving forward. So guys, let's quickly hear from you. What's your take on this? 
kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for this coming out here. God bless you. Bye for now.